Good morning everybody. Welcome back to another weekly vlog and thank you so much for joining me today. It's Tuesday morning and I'm actually heading in to London for an event this morning. I feel like the last few weekly vlogs have mainly been at home but this vlog will have a bit of being out and about as well. Today I'm heading in for a brunch event with Katie Loxton. Um, I love their bags and accessories so I'm really looking forward to seeing the team, seeing their new collection um, and they've so kindly sent me two bags to choose to wear this morning. Um, so I've decided to wear this dress because I feel like I just haven't like got enough wear from it and the sun is out, I think it's going to be a warm day. So I'm going for it with the dress. And my hair hasn't quite gone to plan. I wanted to put it up with the little claw clip. Can you see at the back? Um, but I have like my front bits down, but they just like weren't playing ball. Before we go, let me show you these bags and decide which one to wear today. Their gift bags are huge and you can get the big bows personalized as well. They make such a nice gift. These are the two bags I've got and both actually go really nicely with my dress, but I want to try both on. This one I've had before in a different color and it's such a good size that you really actually can fit quite a lot in there. Here is the more brownie tone one. I love this. I love crossbody bags because I love going hands free and the color ties in so nicely with the dress. I love the off white shade of this. It's not like a stark white, it's like a nice creamy white. I need to shorten the strap on this one a little bit, but this one is also so nice. I really, really love the shape of that one. I'm gonna wear some shoes that are similar to this color today, and so I'm gonna go with this one. <laughs> everybody it is the next day now um, I had my brows done last night I love having them done so much they just look so much thicker and fuller I'm thinking I actually might start using a I was gonna call it a lash serum but a brow serum to just grow them a bit more so they have to stay completely dry for 48 hours so I haven't worn any makeup today because I hate trying to like take makeup off like around them um, so I've gone bare face today. I also haven't got any jewellery on. I feel really naked. And this is like my favourite outfit combination at the moment. Outfit combination. I think I just said that word. Just got a little vest on. White shirt. But I've actually just um, tied it today because this one is like a bit longer. And I just kind of wanted it, I don't know, a bit shorter. So I've just kind of tied that. And then these trousers I've had for ages. They're actually out of stock ASOS. But I'll try and... Links and similar ones below. Oh, oh my God, I just need to tell you a disgusting story quickly. So I've been out this morning, I'll come back to that, um, but I got home and Bertie was, and I let Bertie out in the garden and he was barking and I was just actually on my phone. So I was like on my phone, but walking out into the garden and I walked down our little pathway where Bertie, actually he's a good boy, like he never poos on the decking or the patio he only poos on the grass and I was barefoot and I just felt this soft thing under my foot and I, tr I trod in dog poo but what is happening this is disgusting right is and I've watched it happen the magpies come down and pick up his poo it's disgusting like do they eat I don't like they eat his poo the magpies eat Bertie's poo I've obviously picked it up and like dropped it on the pathway because where it is as well he just like wouldn't do it there so yeah i've just trodden dog poo so i've had to clean my foot gross anyway 
This morning I have been over to um, a little farm shop um, nearby called Smallford Farm Shop. If you're around like St Albans area, you'll probably know it. it's so nice because today I've had a big like admin brainstorming strategy planning morning for September. I really want to be able to bring more value to the videos, to be able to help with any like styling dilemmas or to show different ways to wear things i just really actually want it to be helpful so i've been um brainstorming all of that but i've also had some parcels arrive so i thought that we could quickly go through those together um i've actually ordered a new rug for the living room from zara home Oh, oh, it's just folded up, I think. I've wanted a new rug for the living room for ages, but I've just been really indecisive. And actually, I, I've decided to go with the one that I first originally saw. It's very similar to the one we've got in the bedroom upstairs, but it should just be... A, do you know what this happened before? It's exactly the same as we've got, the one we've got upstairs. The pictures on the Zara website are not... They're not right. On the website, right, this is the photo... It's their vintage effect rug, okay? Can you see it's a more like brownie tones? And even in the description, it says vintage effect floral rug in beige and golden tones, right? So look at that photo. Much more beigey warm tones, okay? Then this is exactly what happened with the one in our bedroom. I sent it back like three times and they kept sending the same one. So I just think that their photos are completely off. Look, this one, it's, this is the one. This isn't beigey tones. This is more like blue. No, not blue, but like it's got more grey in it. I just think that this does not look like the photo. And then there's this one that says it's the vintage effect in light, light tones, which I just think this one is more that. And this isn't what I've ordered. Maybe what I'll do is I'll actually order that one as well. And then I can compare. I never really do unboxings like PR unboxings on my any of my channels because I would just absolutely hate for it ever to come across braggy or like I'm showing off because please that is like the last thing I ever want to do I just thought we could have a look at some of the new in beauty bits together I can't seem to get into this one look at those flowers all the petals are falling off one of them look at those are these called dahlias also, do you just find that, like, nature is absolutely, like, fascinating? Like, these have grown from a seed. Like, what the hell? Absolutely stunning. They've come from Elizabeth Scarlet, who I, is just a brand that I adore. They do so much work with different animal conservations, and they give back to so many different um, animal and environmental charities over the world. They have these gorgeous, this is what they're like well known for, these stunning hand embroidery, like gift bag, not gift bags, like makeup bags. You can have them, oh my god, it's got my initials on as well, you can have them personalised. These make like the most beautiful gift. That is so stunning it's like a dark green velvet with these gorgeous flowers on and this is their collaboration with kate spires as well We've got some little boxes and before anyone says it i know i need a box cutter um okay oh beachy um we've got a little oh this is actually perfect timing because i'm going to lisbon next weekend but i'm actually only traveling with hand luggage which i'm not looking forward to packing for and I won't be able to take that because that's 200 mil. We've got some new of their, some of their SPF. Oh my God, this is very exciting. I've got a parcel from Le Labo, which is like the most heavenly fragrances, candles. The way they can put your name on the box. Can you see it says to Laura? Oh my gosh. So this is, I've had one of their perfumes and candles before. They're so lovely to gift because they have that um, like element of gifting because it says when it was made and who it's for. So I just love that. This is, okay, their new scents. Oh, this is a home fragrance. Let's have a little squirt and see. Oh my God. That is, I might wear that as a perfume. I've actually recently made a COS order as well, but I will try that on um, later 
in the vlog. And then finally, I got a parcel from Fitflop. They kindly reached out to see if I'd like to try any of their new styles. And I've got quite a lot of their um, flip-flop styles and up my slippers are flip-flop that I wear every day, all day around the house. And actually, I chose a pair of trainers that I thought looked really cool because I really do like to wear good fitting shoes because I know how important it is for your posture. And I chose these trainers because I thought that they had quite like a designer feel to them. I love this kind of rust color as well. And I thought they would look really nice in autumn. What do you think? They're quite bold actually for me, but I think they could be styled so nice. And just look at that nice chunky sole. I know that these are gonna be so comfortable. Um, and when I'm wearing the fit flop trainers, I always just feel like I'm doing like my posture really good. I heard on the radio this morning, they said that today was gonna be the last like nice and warm day um, and that the temperatures were gonna drop, which is just great because it's bank holiday weekend on Monday and I've just organized a barbecue here. So hoping that they've got that wrong. Hi Bertie. Um, so this afternoon I am going to sit and work in the garden and just like make the most of this warm weather because of the little bit that we've had warm weather I just don't feel like I've made enough use of it. I'm just going to work here for about two hours and then I have got to take Bertie to the vet for his vaccine booster. He loves it on the garden furniture. Come on Berts. Got to go to the vets for your vaccinations. You don't like it though, do you? Hello, Ramona I can't shake the simplest feeling Beyond the ghost Stand on the opposite shore Hello, Ramona I reach through mysterious ceilings My only hope I look for the things I don't know everybody it is thursday morning and it's actually raining outside we've had such gorgeous weather over the last few days but it's raining today i'm heading into london i have no idea what i'm gonna wear for like a warm but wet day um something i'm not gonna wear today but i really wanted to show you are these uggs i have shared these on my stories as soon as I ordered them because I knew they were gonna sell out. So I hope you managed to get your hands on them if you wanted to. They are selling them at quite a few different stores and I'm sure the stock is gonna be up and down. So I'll link below as many stores that have got them and just like if they're out of stock in your size, just set the reminders. But how beautiful are they? I cannot wait to wear these. I love cozy, comfy shoes. Look at the color of them. They're so nice. I love the platform sole. They are gorge. I actually ordered a four and a five. I don't know what made me do that, but I wasn't sure because normally I am a four. However, where your foot, like there's no room for overhang. It needs to sit like in there. I actually have found, I haven't worn these out of the house yet, but I have found the fives are a bit better. So if there is a size above your normal size, I would definitely give that a go because I feel like I'm more leaning towards keeping the fives in those. Now it's actually such an exciting time in the wardrobe area because it's like getting ready for autumn, getting a few new bits in, um, changing my wardrobe over. I actually had to go up in the loft last night to get something and I saw like all of my awesome clothes and I'm excited to change it up but I'm actually really sad to see the back of summer. I don't know if I'm ready for it just yet but anyway I'm buying a few new bits trying it on and I made an order from COS also next weekend we're actually going to lisbon for the weekend it was my birthday 
present um, from Tom and we're going next weekend. Sorry, that's really noisy. So as much as I'm like kind of gearing up for the autumn outfits and planning my September content, I am going to Lisbon where it's like 30 degrees. So I'm in like kind of two minds, but I've just been ordering some really good staples. Oh my God, that's really wedged right in there. Sorry, this is so noisy. Let me, let me get everything out. I'm actually heading into London today and I don't know if I've got time to try these on, but quickly just whiz you through and then I'll try them on later in the vlog. But I love these little tank tops. They're so nice to wear under things. And even in autumn, I'm predicting that we're gonna have a warm September. So even like wearing something like this under a blazer, I thought this was so nice. It's like a really cute little like beige stripy tank top. I thought that was really nice. I've also picked up a couple of pairs of COS trousers which I have actually not tried before, but I wear trousers all the time and actually like all year round. And the quality of COS is so good. So these are some like kind of forever pieces. I picked up some khaki ones. I will try these on later in the vlog so you can get a better picture. And some classic kind of cream wide leg trousers as well. But what I have seen and what I love about the COS trousers is in the waistband is this little like elastic for adjustment so you know some days you feel a bit more bloated so you can open the adjuster and then other days maybe like when i find when i'm getting dressed in the morning i feel like oh like these trousers fit great and then by lunchtime i'm like oh my god undo these trousers so i just love that it's got this little adjuster and you can just like bring it in and just adjust them to get the perfect fit for you well, i'm excited to try these i ordered some of their white jeans these are like a tapered barrel leg jean. I love white jeans. Um, these are more like a creamy off-white. I love these in autumn and winter. I feel like it's a really nice way to like brighten an outfit and keep it quite fresh without, because um, sometimes in autumn we go for like lots of darker tones, which I love, but I do like to keep it nice and fresh and I feel like a nice white pair or cream pair of jeans can be good for that. <laughs> Um, earlier we're going to Lisbon next weekend it's gonna be boiling and I feel like these kind of like linen shorts are um, gonna be perfect I just want either like linen or cotton like thin shorts and shirts and things like that just so it's nice and loose and flowy um, But obviously most of the shops have got new season things coming in and I've got a couple of pairs but I did just want to get like one more pair um, and these are actually in the sale um, I'm gonna try them on. I'm really hoping that these are gonna fit because they look so nice. And also, I find now is a really good time to buy nice quality classic pieces in the sale for next year. So for example, like these are just, um, you know, nice white linen shorts, very classic style. Like these are never gonna go out of trend that you're always going to wear these and these were 55 pounds and they're now 25 pounds in the sale so this is something i love buying in the sale because you're still getting those like really high quality pieces but just at a much better rate it's a bit like um similar thing with like the white company i love buying christmas decorations in the january sale because things like that, you kind of know the style that you like. Um, and I always get my bits from there in jam because they're like half price or even more. Save them for next Christmas. First up are these little shorts. And they're like a crinkly material, which I really like because then you don't have to iron these. They've got a drawstring waist. They are a little bit see-through, but I think like that's okay for like the material. They're like a relaxed short anyway. The sizing's quite generous. Um, I've got a small, but these are an extra small, which I'm not normally an extra small, so I'd say they come up quite big. But um, yeah, these are really nice. This one's a bit different for me. I don't know what drew me to this, but hear me out. It's a little glittery cardigan, but what I'm thinking is like, you know in like festive season when you go out, I just never ever know what to wear. I'm not really much of a dressy up person. So I feel like something like this would be so nice with like leather trousers and heels. That would be like my evening 
outfit. Um, it's really cute and I think it's it sits at quite a nice length for like high-waisted leather trousers. So the lighting is here is awful. Um, but yeah, I think I think I might get this. I think it's actually really quite cute. And what I like about it is I've got a bra on, but just exactly like where the button sits, it like covers my bra. I think that's quite cute. This I also popped into Russell and Bromley around Covent Garden and this store is so gorgeous, it's so bright and airy and I came to have a look at some of their new autumn winter shoes, they had so many nice, oh there's some nice sandals as well, um, but mainly autumn and winter I was looking at gorgeous boots and loafers, slingbacks, all sorts, like such a good variety and the quality is amazing. I picked up some loafers and knee high boots and I'll be styling them up soon but these little Mary Janes were cute as well, loads of really gorgeous just bits. Good morning everybody. It is Friday morning and I did um, my Reformer Pilates class earlier this morning. Then I went to Tesco and I actually need to unpack the Tesco shopping and I've just put some washing out on the line because it's actually going to be quite a nice day. So I'm going to get that dried outside. Um, but yesterday I was feeling a bit, I was feeling a bit sad. I'm letting go of the sadness today and today's a new day. So my mum also had an operation in the week on her shoulder. So I haven't seen her since her operation. So I'm gonna go around and see her today. And she can't wash her hair or anything, bless her, with one arm. So I'm gonna give her a little wash and blow dry. I also want to make, I don't know if you've seen it on TikTok. It's like a healthy Biscoff cheesecake thingy. And you make it with Weetabix. So I've got all the ingredients to make those. So I'm gonna make those. I got, I needed some fabric detergents. Um, I've got my Biscoff biscuits for the cheesecake thing. I'm also gonna make my mum one. And I've ran out of this. Um, I use this a lot. If you've been watching my vlogs recently, I like to put this on my breakfasts, the peanut drizzle, but I had run out. It's got any one of those. I like to give Bertie the best life that I can, bless him. And I like to give him nice treats, but sometimes those nice treats are very expensive. Um, so today, when I, whenever I go in Tesco's, I always go down like the dog treat aisle, and if they're on offer, I will stop on them because I'm not going to buy them full price because every now and then they do have a good offer on. So today, I've stocked up on all the little treats for Bertie. Some of those, and also the Lily's Kitchen. These are the little salmon nibbles, um, and I got a banana because I'm going to make smoothies. Oh my god! And also lotus spread. I've actually never owned this before. I absolutely love this, but I have never owned it. And I feel like this could be dangerous because I could just be like eating it from the spoon. But we need this for our cheesecake. But I've got the water on to boil because I'm going to make some boiled eggs for breakfast. I'm actually starving this morning. I didn't have dinner last night because I was feeling sad and I didn't just feel like eating. So I'm feeling hungry. So I'm going to have some eggs on toast and then we will tidy this away. your treat jar is full to the top. Sit. Good. Look at your friends. People always ask about you. Look at you. <laughs> Paul. Good. Yes. Good. Uh, uh, sit. Good boy. Oh, we don't like... Oh. <laughs> Not keen on those ones then. Are you eating that? Good boy. I know which ones you're gonna like. You're really gonna like these little salmon bites. Come here. Sit. Paul. Yes. High five. Yes. Hi. Uh, leave it. Hi, Ted. Yes. Good boy, Bertie. Sit down. Yes. Lie down. Yeah. Oh, you can do a little rollover. 
Oh, good boy, darling. High five. Yes, good. Also in last week's vlog when I went to Ikea and I got Bertie his new little stuffed snake, um, a few people messaged to say they wanted to see his reaction with it, but I actually cut that out of the vlog because the vlog was quite long and I'll pop in the little clip now of when he got his new little snakey. Let's, let's give Bertie his new toy. Bertie, I've got you a new snakey. <gasps> Who's this? Is this a new snakey? Doesn't smell like your normal one, does it? What do you think of him? No, Mum, I'm not sure. It doesn't smell like my normal one. There you go. <laughs> Here's his old one, as you can see. Look, there's like no stuffing left in there. What do you think? No, not sure. Come on. <laughs> Come on. It's a few hours later and Bertie's finally playing <laughs> with his new snake. What are we going to call this one? Is he still snaky? Is this still snaky? Okay, so it is time to make these little cheesecakes. I'm going to make one for me and one for my mum. And I've just got these little dishes. So I found the recipe on TikTok. So what we're gonna, what you're going to need, I'm saying this like I know what I'm doing. I'm just following someone else's recipe. Greek yogurt. I like the Faye 0%. Weetabix. Biscoff Bickies and the spread and protein powder. I'm going to use vanilla. Oh, and some milk as well. Milk of your choice. So the other day I showed you that Zara rug that I just think isn't the right colour. And I ordered two more just to do a little comparison. And they have arrived this morning. I need to nip out this morning. But tomorrow, Saturday, I'm going to show you my new cos pieces and the Zara rugs. So we'll do that tomorrow. Okay, so... I'm excited to do this. Okay, so it's two Weetabixes. Crush them up. Adding, I think it's just like a little splash of milk just to like moisten them to make it, so you can press it down for the cheesecake base. I'm gonna need a little bit more. Okay, and then it is 100 grams of yogurt per one. So I'm gonna do 200 grams of yogurt. And then two scoops of this. I am such a slapdash person when it comes to food. I never really like follow the proper recipe and like stick to the exact grams. I just kind of shove it in. I should have done this in a bigger bowl. Okay, and then pop it in here. I'm gonna do a biscuit in each. And now time for the Biscoff spread. On one of the recipes, she melted it and like drizzled it over. But I don't know, I don't know how thick this is gonna be. Like, can I just drizzle it over or does it need to be melted? Oh, look at that, look at that. Normally I would be a person that has to get all of that silver foil off, but I'm in a bit of a rush, so that's gonna have to do, okay. Oh my God, that smells heavenly. Oh, it's quite thick. That's not gonna drizzle. Shall I melt it? <gasps> that has melted really well. I wasn't sure how that was gonna go. Just drizzle it on. Oh my God, this looks amazing. I can't wait to eat this. Yeah. I really hope this tastes as good as it looks because it looks really nice. You could definitely do these like in batches. You could like make a couple um, and pop them in the fridge and then like just have them in the fridge for the week. I'd prefer to do it in one go rather than doing this every day and making all this mess. Right, there we are. There are my little cheesecakes. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday morning. I'm still in my pajamas, but my three Zara rugs that I ordered have all arrived. 
so I thought we could have a look at them together. So this is the first one that I ordered. Um, and funnily enough, I actually think that the first one's my favorite. When this first arrived, I thought it was very cool toned and it said it was more warm toned online. But then I ordered the cool toned one to see and this is the cool tone. So yes, compared to that, it does look a lot more warmer tone. This is the same rug we've got in our bedroom as well. And then there was a third vintage rug on the website that I just wanted to order to have a look at. This is really nice, but it's a little bit more, more on the cooler toned, I would say. Um, and also, I know it's like a vintage effect. That's what it's supposed to look like. But this one looks, it definitely has more of like, an aged look to it whereas although this does have that same look I feel like this one looks a bit cleaner if that makes any sense I don't know why but I just think like that could I don't know to me does that look a bit grubby and I feel like that might annoy me so after all I think we're gonna go with the first one that I ordered I haven't put the new rug out yet I've just left it there but he's made himself at home on it bless him hello everyone it is the bank holiday weekend this weekend and we've had a really nice morning we went for well actually we got coffee and a pastry which was so nice um from my little favorite place in this little old town near where we live and then we went on such a nice walk um, and then we came home i popped some washing out on the line we got ready and tom and i went out for lunch we don't usually do that much stuff together like going out for lunch and stuff we just i don't know we just end up just staying at home so this weekend we made like quite a conscious effort to go out for a nice lunch together and it was so nice and i had a glass of wine with lunch and i'm just not much of a drinker and it went straight to my head and now i just feel so tired <laughs> So I promised you that I would show you the cos pieces in this vlog. So I thought I'm going to show you that now. Then I'm going to get on the sofa, finish editing this vlog, get it uploaded and hopefully go live tonight. Right, okay, so um, here's the little vest top that I got. And it's so soft and just a really nice little basic. Um, and I feel like I know we're going into more autumn, winter um, style, but... These are really nice while it's still kind of mild to wear under blazers and things. Um, so I really like this and I've got a dark striped one but I actually really like the light striped one. That's really nice. And these are the trousers on. To be honest, I should have given them a bit of a steam but they actually fit really nicely. I will leave um, the sizes and everything that I'm wearing link down below they fit really nice on the waist and they're just a very just a straight leg um trouser which i really like i'm five foot four for leg reference but they're a little bit of a different style for me these pleats need sorting out and um, i think these fit nice and these are the khaki trousers so they're they are a different um a different style but they're quite similar but again these do need a good steam but you can kind of but you can see the shape in them i think i actually prefer this shape and this color is gorgeous um i like the nice kind of big waistband here you can put like a really nice belt on i think these are so nice and then my final thing are the white jeans. These fit so nicely. They're such a nice, like, barreled but tapered leg. They, I love the leg on them a lot. The only thing is, are they, like, pulling a little bit here? I don't know what's going on with that, but apart from that, I feel like they fit so nice around um, my waist. Um, I just don't wear skinny jeans at all anymore. For me, they just... I don't know, they don't suit me, they're not flattering on me, and this is the kind of style of jean that I like. Just a nice, simple, straight leg. Hmm, I could see these, oh my god, imagine these with like, either like the Birkenstock Boston or the Ugg um, Tasman with like a nice, cosy knit, oh my god. I think these are a yes from me. Okay, I'm going to leave it there today. Um, I hope you guys are having a really nice weekend. Enjoy the last bank holiday of the year. And as always, thank you so much for taking your time to watch this. And I'll see you next week. Bye.